Hello everyone. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Thanks for joining this today's session. Today I will show you how we can connect AWS EC2 instance from the Windows system by using Mobile Extreme. So for that, let's guys move into the AWS console and I will show you like how we can download this Mobile Extreme also. So let's go to AWS console. I have one instance which is running state in my in this console like so this is the instance we are going to connect today and if you not yet watch my previous video like how we can launch the issue 2 instance so please have a look i will give that link to this video description so let's go to the download mobile extreme okay so one more thing guys i would like to request like uh, don't download this kind of open software from any other like third parties uh, website because it sometime it will be harmful to you like uh, it will come some virus also to that system. So I would recommend always download from official website. So this is the mobile extreme official website. So let's go here. And there are two versions. One is the professional and one is the home edition version. So this is the free and this is the chargeable one. So let's download free one. And there are multiple version is available like uh, now latest version is 23.1 and Previous table version is 20.0. So let's download latest one. So my download is completed. Stance is running. Like to connect this one, right? We will do basically SSH, right? So to do the SSH, uh, like a uh, First, you need to know the what the user for this is to instance, right? If you don't know like what the user, then just click here and do select the SSH client, right? Then it will show you like uh, what could be the uh, user for this particular EC2 instance, right? Because if it is a not a Linux system, if it is something else, right? Uh, or Windows or maybe Ubuntu, right? That time the user will get changed. So that's why you can get to know by using the connect and then you can see that uh, what could be the user type? OK, so this is a EC2 user. OK, so now download is completed. So let's go to download folder. And extract this download. Let's double click here. So here we have this option. So let's open this. So now and here we need to there are multiple options in this menu, right? Terminal, session, view, server, tools, game, settings. These are the thing, right? So to connect any session, so first we need to click on session, and there are two session, new session. And this mobile extreme we can use like many purpose, not only for SSH, we can do telnet, or maybe if you have any SFTP server or FTP server, or if you would like to connect S3 AWS, that purpose also we can use. Today we'll show you like how we can do SSH. Okay, so let's click here and give the host name. Host name is nothing but like a, what the public IP for that particular EC2 instance, right? So let me go to there. This is the public IP, right? So let's either take this one or maybe you can take the DNS. Okay, so let's IP and here the, either you can specify the user here like EC2. Then IP or if you don't specify, just give the IP, right? Then it, sorry, uh, not here. You can specify the user here. This is the IP. So select the IP again. Yeah. Specified user here. Specify the user. This is to user. Okay. And go to the select on advanced setting. And now we are connecting by using PEM file, right? If you see our EC2 instance, right? Let me show you that. Like a what PEM file is connected, right? If you go extreme little bit, right? You can check that like uh, the key file name. So this is our key file. So PEM file is connected. So by using that only we will connect. So let's go to here in advance and use the private key and select this one. And this is our PEM file, right? If you if you compare it, so now click on OK. See, we are good to is connected, right? So like this, we can guys connect and uh, like if you would like to like uh, do any operation like AWS S3, all right, then you have to configure all these things. Otherwise, uh, like uh, this connection is done. 
so if you want to terminate just close this one or maybe you can just exit like this it will exit from here okay take it log out Now you are outside of that, right? Hope guys, this session will helpful to you guys. And if you have any doubt or question, please uh, put that uh, the doubt or question in that video comment section. I will address those in my next video. And thanks for watching this video. And if this video is valuable for you, then please uh, subscribe, like, and share to your friend to support this channel. We'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.